My name is Roy Bundy Jr. I'm the manager of the Cherokee Language Program at Cherokee Nation. Uh, well, the Cherokee Language Program uh, consists of the Office of Translation, the Community Language Program, and the Language Technology Program. They focus on making sure the Cherokee language is compatible with uh, digital technology. Over the years, the, the uh, department as a whole has, the, pro you know, the language program has uh, worked on the, the, the projects at the Apple, uh, Cherokee support for the iPhone, the iPad, and the iPod Touch. Uh, they've worked with uh, Google to get Gmail in Cherokee and to get uh, the Google search engine in Cherokee. Uh, they've worked with, uh, recently with Microsoft to get Windows 8 in Cherokee and to get uh, Microsoft's Office Online in Cherokee. When the Cherokee Nation partnered with Microsoft to do this, it was a huge volume of words that they needed translated. Because a lot of these terms did not exist, you know, in Cherokee. You know, like, like the word for network and download, those are all new concepts. And they translated about 750,000 terms. Initially, uh, you know, when anything is kind of new like this, there's some hesitancy about it. You know, people are like, do we really need that? But I think what sells it a lot of time is when someone's like a grandparent will see their grandchild using something and they'll like look at it like, hey, I can read that and they can communicate with their you know, children and grandchildren. And I know several people that uh, have went and got an iPad or an iPhone just for that purpose so they can actually communicate with their grandchildren in the language. So it's bridging the gap from the generations and everybody's getting caught up in the middle and we're all kind of learning it again and keeping it going. So it's, it's also a source of pride for many Cherokees to see it on a, a digital device like a, an iPhone or on a laptop. I do a lot of work with technology and the language, but uh, my original studies uh, was art. And that's kind of what led me to the language actually was, you know, I grew up in a family of fluent Cherokee speakers. So I grew up with the language and around it. But like a lot of people of my generation, we didn't pick it up like we should have. And so when I started working as an artist, I wanted to incorporate the language into my art. And that led me to doing some uh, animation and media projects. Part of what happened there is the technology didn't support the language. So it kind of grew from basically trying to figure out how to make it work. And that's how I kind of landed in this language and technology type of uh, work. I think a lot of my, my worlds are kind of, they've merged. It's kind of hard to keep them apart now, but as I do incorporate the language into a lot of my art with the paintings and drawings and I also do a lot of digital art. I do iPad sketches and things. So I, I use a lot of technology I work with. It's what's really neat about it is when you look at the, the history of the syllabary, uh, when it started, it was handwritten and then they adopted it to the printing press. And then it went from there to typewriters and then it went to uh, computer processing software. And then with the you know, new fonts and then with the Unicode, now it's in texting and emailing. So it's always been Cherokees have always have been part of the evolution of the technology, so it's, it's really neat to continue that thread of history.